Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we would see a fluid flow analysis in a flow diversion pipe. For this analysis, we have taken a diversion pipe domain which is 5 mm in diameter, it diverted into 5 pipes having the same diameter, and then merged again near the outlet part. Find out the flow variations in this pipe. Changes in inlet and outlet velocities. Open the ANSI's Fluid Flow Fluent Workbench. Let's start with creating the geometry in ANSI's Design Modeler. Right-click on Geometry and select New Design Modeler Geometry. Set the unit as millimeter. Select the XY plane to draw the geometry. Go to the Dimensions toolbar and enter the dimensions. Provide angular dimensions. Right-click to select an alternate angle for the dimension placement. Go to Modify Toolbar and select the Fillet option. Enter the fillet radius value as 150 mm, then select the lines to create a fillet between them. Decrease the fillet value for the vertex point to 50 mm. Now make the fillet. Due to the fillet operation, all the three lines are now connected into a single polyline. Now we need to create the profile of the pipe. For this select the YZ plane, and click on the sketch option to draw the profile. Create a circle with the center at the origin. Put the diameter of the circle. Now go to Modeling, select both sketches and right-click Select Always Show Sketch option. Doing so would make it easier for us to do the sweep geometry creation. Now we have the sweep profile as well as the sweep path visible. Click on the Sweep Tool option. Select the circle as the profile and click on Apply. Select the polyline as the path and click on Apply. Now click on Generate. The sweep geometry would be now generated. Now go to Create a menu and select the Pattern option. Click on the geometry and click on Apply. Select the pattern type as Circular. Select the direction as the x-axis. Enter the number of copies as 4 excluding the parent geometry. Now click on Generate. The geometry is now complete. Proceed for meshing the geometry. Right click on Mesh and click on Edit. Generate the default meshing.
go to the mesh display style setting and change it to skewness type to see the skewness of all the generated meshed cells. As most of the meshed cells having skewness less than 0.9 so we can consider this mesh. We need to provide the name tag to the inlet and outlet boundary using the create name selection option. Now right click on mesh and select update. This would link the generated mesh with the Fluent CFD solver. Now close the meshing and proceed for solver setup in ANSI's Fluent. Open the Fluent solver. Select the double precision model and click on start. Go to models and select the laminar model for this analysis and click on OK. Now we would add the material which is to be used in this analysis. Open the materials menu and click on the fluent database. Select the water liquid and click on copy. Click on change or create. Close the edit material window. Open the cell zone conditions to assign the material to the domain. Change the material from default air to water liquid. Click on OK. Now we would assign the boundary conditions to the model. Select the inlet boundary and keep the boundary type as velocity inlet. Click on edit to assign the inlet water velocity. Keep the outlet type as the pressure outlet. Now open the solution method and select the coupling scheme as Simplac. Change the spatial discretization as green gauss cell based. Pressure is second order, momentum is second order upwind. Go to monitors, click on residuals. Decrease the residuals to 10 to the power minus 6. It would increase the accuracy of the result. Now go to initialization and select standard initialization. Select compute from the inlet. Click on initialize. Click on Run Calculations, enter the number of iterations and click on Calculate. The calculation is complete. Save the solution and proceed for result analysis in CFD post-processing.
Open the CFD post processing results. Go to locations and insert a new plane on the XY plane. Now get the contour on this new plane. We can create contours for other pipe diversions also. For this insert a new user surface. Select the method as transformed surface. Select plane 1 as the surface. Select the x-axis as the axis of rotation. Put the angle as 72 degrees as we have 5 diversions, and each diversion is at 72 degrees angle from the nearest diversion. Make the user surfaces for other diversions also. Now insert contours in each user surface created. Now insert a streamline to observe the flow path and pattern inside the diversion pipe. Select start from the inlet. Enter the number of points as 100, then click on apply. Go to the animations tab and select quick animation. Select the streamline. Click on the play button. This is the solution animation video, which shows some imaginary fluid particles movement inside the pipe. Go to the Calculator tab and select Function Calculator. Select the function as Area Average. Location at the inlet. Select Velocity as the variable. Click on Calculate. Now we would observe the velocity variation along the length. For this, we would select a streamline and draw the chart by taking it as the reference.
With this let's conclude the demonstration. Hope you would like this tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel for more tutorial videos. Thank you. Keep learning keep exploring.